for some of you here the reason why you are not serious with god respectfully speaking is the kind of friends and association you have if you are not courageous enough to lovingly cut yourself from dangerous and destructive associations don't say it does not matter i am both old and new school i've told you this thing already depending on what you are discussing when you are talking about technological advancement and all of that i am new school but we are, we are talking about foundational doctrines and truth i am very old school <laughs> hallelujah this unnecessary evolution is destroying our generation is why we are not seeing the power of god passive careless christianity it does not matter after all i know that god somehow uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. you want to see the hand of god in your life you want to see exemption activated over your life you want to become a recipient of god's defense and jealousy love him and watch what he does i hope you know that every believer is the bride of christ and the bible says jealousy is the rage of a man the devil wants to come and play games with your life and god says it's me you are touching he comes to stand before you and say pass through me first before you touch this lady show me a man doing lover of god i show you a man who has mastered the art of frustrating negative prophecies you will only talk rubbish for the rest of your life show me an organization that is founded upon love and passion for god i once met a billionaire in this nation and we had the opportunity to talk with him and i was just learning from him and saying what would you have to teach me sir and he said let me tell you this my love for god supersedes every other thing he said at his age he still does evangelism and he still does all of these things he said money is nonsense god took him from nowhere and put him where he is and that blessed me and changed my life oh may i never be too big to show you how much i love you may i never become too anointed to show you how much i love you may i never become too great too popular too influential this is what you must pray about do you love him sincerely so that's the question he's asking you right now do you love him do you love him more than money more than church more than fame more than titles do you love him or do you just love anointing do you love him or do you just love church or ministry do you love him or you just like a, a life of enjoyment i love you number two what is the second key that activates supernatural exemption are you ready discernment discernment you want to be exempted you must understand the mystery of discernment most people today have gotten into all kinds all kinds of troubles because they do not understand the power of discernment we have become victims terrible victims of situations and circumstances today because we have lost discernment what is discernment the dis discernment is the the faculty of perception the ability to perceive the influences behind actions discernment a quality of spiritual perception the ability to know the spirit that is behind a physical activity the ability to understand whether this activity is driven by god or driven by satan is called discernment if you use physical things in this end time you will call many good things evil and you will call many evil things good you've heard me say even darkness from afar looks like light until it comes near before you will see that it is darkness it is a risk to trust your senses and impulses alone in this end time those who will be exempted from evil ladies and gentlemen are those who will have high level discernment discernment to know when to collect and when to say thank you 
are we together discernment to see a door open and yet be able to say no this door even though it's open i know that it is not god or it is not the season because you've heard me say even the prison door must be open for you to enter so just because a door is open you need to find out where you are going it can be a door into a prison and you jump there rejoicing only for you to find out that it was a dead end hallelujah there are many gifts you will collect it's like selling your birthright you need discernment and let me respectfully say this especially to we ministers of the gospel we have to be careful and sensitive yes ministry requires money yes the man of god requires his welfare and all of this taken care of but let me tell you we need high level discernment in this end time because there are gifts that when you collect you have destroyed the integrity of your life and your ministry for many many decades there are doors you must not enter no matter how open it is and it does not have to be evil you must learn to say no to many good things in your life because the impulse that that faculty of discernment does not give you the permission to hallelujah there are times you can be embarking on a journey and you just sense a wrestling in your spirit no I'm going to teach you how to fine-tune discernment in fact let me say it straight to the point you fine-tune discernment using two keys one the Word of God two praying in the spirit these are the keys that help to fine-tune discernment because there are times what you feel in your heart does not just mean God is not there it's just fear when angels appear to humans they tell them fear not because it's a normal thing with humans hallelujah Touring the unknown will always come with a level of inconvenience. But there are times that doors may seem to be open, but you know there is that check within your heart. What is stopping this trip? I'm, I'm to take this trip and yet, for the last three days, my heart and my spirit have been having no rest. It does not mean to not take the trip. It does not even mean you will die. I want to do this business and I just need to sign it five billion but my spirit and this one I have prayed about it I have confessed scripture I know that my there is an unease in my spirit stop immediately I don't care how urgent what you want to do is stop anything that has to be so fast to the point where you override that check in your spirit you are only given access to trouble there are many people today who have crossed the lines of life and death or have been exempted from death by five minutes discernment do not play with your peace do not play with your joy do not play with how scriptural compliant it is the pathway to obtaining whatever it is that you obtain because the bible says the manifestation of the kingdom is in this threefold dimension righteousness peace and joy hallelujah there are many people today respectfully speaking who married armed robbers they came into nigeria and spoke and lied to you said they are in oil and gas and they even have five companies they really your life is about to change he said well, thank god I, god has been speaking to me about favor in koinonia lately <laughs> you see i'm teaching you something listen carefully that satan is taking advantage of a powerful genuine message but some when everything looks right and yet your spirit does not agree stop there's something god is saying is someone learning now go back shalika prando skatiata you see when there was a viper hiding in the woods remember it was when they set the wood on fire that the viper was revealed there are many times the fire of prayer can reveal many things that are hidden beyond the surface layer of what you are seeing 
I have a job of 350. I have a job of 250. Someone says, wisdom is profit to that. To that. Get that job and, and, and smile forever. Whereas your next level may be with that job of 250. And the Holy Spirit is telling you pray. And whilst you are praying, Shali Kapranda Gadoski Ataba, the Holy Spirit just comes. Sometimes he will even say, leave all the two jobs. That's right. Hallelujah. And then by the next week, someone just comes and says, we're expanding our services. Someone recommended you to us. Um, would you mind being the African director of this company? For starters, your salary is 3.5 with all the benefits per month. When the Lord turn again the captivity of Zion, you will stand there as if you are dreaming. And people will say you were lucky. No, you were not lucky. You were discerning. Please hear me, believers. If you do not cultivate discernment in these end times, you will get into trouble. Especially with men and associations. You will need to learn this. There are many, many people who got into trouble in their lives because they joined a wrong chariot. It was through discernment the Spirit of God told Philip, join this chariot. And that led to the salvation of the utopian Enoch and so on and so forth. But there are many people. It depends on who is in your boat. If Jesus is in your boat, you will survive the storm. But if Jonah is the person you are carrying, even if you don't die, your business will die, other things will die. They lost so many things. And Jonah was sleeping. Instead of him to just confess and say, sincerely, gentlemen, so that you don't waste this thing further, I am the reason. They were casting lots. He was seeing it. He still kept quiet. Till the Lord fell on him. He said, it's true. I'm the one. Now, you, you can imagine that kind of thing. Hear me. I was talking to someone and I was teaching him that a wicked person, a selfish person, and a foolish person can commit the same havoc to your life. A wicked person, a selfish person, and a foolish person are they are effective tools in the hands of satan if satan looks for a wicked person and he does not find him the next person satan will look for is a selfish person if satan does not find a selfish person he will find a foolish person all three can be used to to do the same thing in your life the only difference is that a wicked person will be happy before and after a selfish person will suddenly realize that I'm selfish. A foolish person will be open to his or her foolishness. But all three, as far as committing havoc to your destiny is concerned, you need discernment. There are many people who will come into your life, they are not wicked. But some may be very self-centered. And the devil will still use them to cause the same pain that a wicked man would have brought. There are people in your life who may not be self-centered. They may not be wicked, but they are bankrupt of spiritual light and illumination. They can still be used to cause the same thing. You have to pray and be discerning. Judas was not wicked. He was only selfish. He wanted to make money out of Jesus. He still led to the death of Jesus. Peter, you see that? Peter was not self-centered. Peter was not wicked, but Peter was foolish. He still denied Jesus and ran away. Thomas was outright foolish. You see, all of them, they still cause trouble and pain. Are we together? You have to learn this. Discernment. You build discernment by understanding the word of God. You build discernment by investing in prayer. Do not trust anything until you have prayed. Let me say it again. Do not trust anything, no matter how right, no matter how authentic, whether your decisions, your products, your business, I don't care what you want to do. Take it to the place of prayer. The hymn writer says, all because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Lord, this company is about to expand. I told you about Koinonia. In 2013 or so, just two years when we started Koinonia, there were already a lot of suggestions to come into Abuja. And it was a great idea. I mean, God was already doing great things. 
only to go to the Lord in prayer such a great idea and I had a vision I saw a plane lifting from Zaria and coming down to Abuja it was written on it E and I just when it will arrive Abuja it crashed I knew exactly what was said a lot of people do you know how many people have have tried to open koinonia offices around the world to say apostle we've opened it in advance I told them I said I love you please close it back <laughs> close it and be falling online don't worry you are part of the vision you just relax well God has sent us across the globe you see the way of the spiritual man can look deceptfully slow but one step with God will bring 10 20 years together are we together now I rather crawl with God than run with Satan I rather crawl with God one step after three three years than to have a thousand steps now only to find out that it was Satan that was escorting you because the way Satan does is that he will give you the food to eat after 10 years you say pay me I forgot to tell you that is not free Discernment. Discernment. Discernment.